We're learning more tonight about the teenage boy who was hit by a truck on Souk Road Tuesday night. He's 14. His name is A.J. Wakeling. And tonight he remains in critical condition at Victoria General Hospital. A.J. lives with his mom and with three brothers, one of whom is his twin. As CTV Stephanie Sherlock shows us tonight, the family is well known and well loved in the community. We're just going to focus on supporting the family. Adam Jesse Wakeling, or AJ as he is called, remains in critical condition in hospital after being hit by a pickup truck Tuesday night. I'm sick to my stomach. I've been sick since I heard about it. That's the truth. AJ and his three brothers, one his twin, are friends of John Paul Thewitt's son. They're great kids, you know, they, they've, um, they're they very personable and uh, fun-loving and like to tease each other and, and uh, it's always a pleasure when they're around. Thewitt says AJ's mom is on her own with the four boys and has some tough times ahead. He wanted to do anything he could to help. This is uh, my business and so I'm able to use it as a platform to do good work. His is one of a growing list of businesses stepping up to collect donations for the family. I think the easiest, you know, most, most portable and, and, and uh, most usable is going to be financial support. Christy Faulkner is a friend of a friend of AJ's mother. She didn't hesitate offering her support either. Um, I wanted to get involved naturally. I think any mother would. She's collecting items for a silent auction, as well as gift and gas cards and non-perishable food items for the family. I think the whole community is going to want to wrap themselves around this family and create a support network, you know, for them to fall back on. Monetary donations can be made at any Van City Credit Union under the name AJ's Legacy Fund. You know, Victoria is the village and, and uh, he is the child and the, the family there, the family that need help right now. If you have items to donate to the family or to an upcoming silent auction, visit our website for more information. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News.